I met James in Turkey. It was a no space expedition he was doing. And um, I had no idea who he was. James, okay, Pearson. Why are you a climber? What do you do? Trial? <laughs> Never heard. I, in fact, I had to Google it. Trot climbing. Oh, gears. In hard things? Single pitch? <laughs> what for? In fact, even now, I don't completely get the thing. Well, the idea is the, the route today is, 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 a, is a mixed traditional route, which basically means it's full of old pegs. And uh, so we need to slim this down to a usable, minimized rack. Organized rack. <laughs> it takes at least one hour. Uh, over the next few months, all our, all our trips are going to be slightly more adventure-based. Firstly, we go to Sardinia, directly to England, climbing trad routes, to Borneo in Malaysia. So it's all kind of crazy and a big step away from the stuff that Carolina's been used to and certainly her routes. And so this last few days, I've been trying to give her a little head start on, on the next few months. We've been climbing in an area called San Guillem, the desert, which is very close to our house. Um, quite an established sport climbing area, but also with a lot of adventure potential. Some bigger walls, protected by, by pitons mostly, kind of scary. And uh, so I thought it was a great time to send her up one. I think it went well. <laughs> I want to become an okay trot climber. I want to be able to place a gear and know like if I can trust it or not because for now it's not the case. <laughs> Wonderful, I'm already pumped. Just clip the, the good pieces and run it out. But nothing's good. Tension for the rock above, it looks kind of shitty. James told me they were piton and he said, oh, they're a bit old, but it's okay, don't worry. And you have no idea if it's gonna hold you full or not. It makes a wit sound, really. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a tin cat. <laughs> <sighs> okay, take. With James, you're never in danger. Keep me, James. I'm not in direct. Okay. This one doesn't look much better, but... If I'm honest, it's probably the best piece of the pitch. Now it's just to continue and not break anything. Oh gosh. Donkey on my harness. That's another one. So we, we're just about to uh, finish the route, but there are two base jumpers just above here. So we're gonna have to settle a bit and just watch them do their crazy things. Three, two, one, buzz. Yeah. It's so impressive. I had never seen that. <laughs> I grew up on Reunion Island, which is a French island next to Madagascar. Saint Guillaume was the very first place where I went climbing outdoor in France. It was just so pretty. It was my first contact with real limestone. I am technically the opposite of James. I started climbing when I was 12. I started on plastic wall. I have now to become an okay climber and everything else because for now I'm, I'm like a beginner with a great spot level. <laughs>
So the root, it, like it starts really overhanging on the um, too far, really physical, but I'm fine with that. But then the top is crimpy and super technical and you really have to find exactly the correct position. A drop knee, like completely on myself, drop knee, and I I go and like catch just a thumb. I've been training my fitness for 10 years, so I don't think this is this aspect I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna move to multi-pitch and track climbing. Every evening after a multi-pitch, I'm destroyed because I've been stressing all day <laughs> about that. So that's my two goals this year, and I think I have enough job with that. <laughs> 